Well, if you feel like you are still spending more at the grocery store, it is not your imagination. Yeah, uh, inflation in the U.S. has reached the highest level since the 1980s, and experts say these prices could continue to stick around for weeks. Lana Harris joins us to explain why. Yeah, these higher prices are no joke. I talked to people coming out of the Harris Teeter who are here to buy everyday grocery items like bread, fruit, paper products, and yogurt, and were shocked at how much it all cost. Prices are way up. As Kirk Cochran went for a routine trip to the grocery store, he says the price increases were noticeable. Fruit, paper goods, English muck, every, everything. Everything is, I, I, I'm blown away. Loading groceries into his car, Cochran was still shocked by the total. $82 for three little bags of stuff. Were you expecting that? No. <laughs> no. Everybody can attest to the fact that we're paying more than we've ever paid before for basic necessity. Market analyst Bill Dundee says the squeeze can be felt across every aisle. We're finding it in the meat, we're finding it in the milk section, we're finding it in the produce section. It's across the board. Dundee says inflation hasn't been this high in decades. But reports have come out saying that we're at the highest inflation rate we've seen in 40 years at 7% year over year. Dundee says economists believe it's in part because of increased post-pandemic spending coupled with supply chain issues. So you release everybody to go buy things Yet we don't have things on the shelves, so there's nobody incentivized to give a discount because we can't get things in stock. And for the time being, Dindy says economists believe these higher prices are likely sticking around. We believe it will continue for another month or so because a lot of companies just this week have announced that they're going to go ahead and pass the increases that they're experiencing onto the consumer. Last year, a lot of companies just absorbed it and they earned a little less in profit. To save money, Dindy suggests canceling unused subscriptions and searching for discounts wherever possible. Many people are kind of lazy in our spending. We don't make sure that we're maximizing the joy of every dollar we spend. Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte. Yep, and as we are all feeling the pain from the sticker shock at the store right now on our website, we actually have a story showing you four ways to save on groceries. It could really come in handy if you're pinching pennies. Just head to our website, WCNC.com, and click on Where's the Money at the top of the homepage.